Oh boys. Back for round two. At the Goods Raceway. Just got here. Track was super wet whenever we got here. Had to go out actually help run the track in a little bit, but it looks like it come around really good. It's actually gonna be a lot more uh, damp and probably tackier than what it was here uh, the first time we were here, but come back out with the sprint car, but this time, boys, we brought a little more smoke. Got the Graves exhaust on, got the Graves block, block off plates on, dirt launch intake, dirt launch tune, so we should have a couple more, couple more horsepowers than we had last time. Fresh set of Hoosiers on the right side. Got them all grooved up, ready to go. So we're gonna put a couple more laps on the old sprint car. Really excited about it, man. Been chomping at the bit ever since the last time we ran it. Unfortunately, Kevin had a lot of stuff to do uh, this afternoon. Wasn't able to come out, but uh, he says hey, and he says send a priority mail. So that's what we're gonna do, so. Here we go, round two, Goods Raceway with the sprint car. Let's do it. Back after the first session, I'll tell you what, these new, these fresh Hoosiers we put on here really, really, really tighten this thing up big time from where we had it. I put everything back to where we had it last time we were here and uh, Kevin had the car kind of tightened up because we were a little bit, the car was pretty free. So we, these new right side Hoosiers made a huge difference and it helps that the track's prepped this time. It's got a little bit, a little bit more bite in this track than it was last time we were here. So I had a little bit of trouble in the first session getting it in, um, getting it rotated. Uh, but uh, we're gonna see if we can take care of that in the second one. Come on.
Okay, well, we're back. We're back from the second session. And if you couldn't tell from the GoPro footage, the wing mounts broke off right at the weight clamp that we had holding them on. All four brackets broke and the wing was just resting down on top of the roll cage. I had to hold it on with my hands on the way in to get it back into the to get it back into the pit area. But uh, couldn't have happened at a better time. Being as I, it didn't fall down onto the roll cage until the caution flag came out for me to pull off anyway. So caution flag comes out and wing drops down on the roof. So we got some brackets to remake, but couldn't have happened at a better time because I was able to hold it on. The wing was unscathed. I couldn't imagine like sending it off into three and the wing rolling off of it. It would have been totally freaking destroyed. But these Hoosiers, this hard compound that we picked up, I mean, we barely even took the tits off of these. So I don't know if these are going to be the right call for for a short course or not, but they really held up way better than the other, than the softs that we had on before. So now that we don't have a wing on there, I guess there ain't much more to do here tonight. <laughs> Go home and, and uh, try and redesign those brackets and uh, get a better get a better wing set up on it for, for next time. But we'll definitely be back. The extra horsepower that we brought made a huge difference down the straightaway. It's definitely entering the corners way faster uh, than I was the last time we were here. So that extra horsepower helped out a bunch. Um, like I said earlier, car was super tight compared to what it was last time. So um, track was prepped up a little bit better. So we're gonna load this thing up. Wes is gonna take a couple laps in it just to play around with it for a little bit, just to drive it around, see what it's like. But uh, we're gonna load this thing up and we're gonna head out. It's gonna be the end of our second session at Goods Raceway and probably won't be the last. So as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And we'll see you next time. Later guys. Oh, <laughs>